I'm going to try to do a short video to try to explain a little bit about the FTC and some things about WinCNC here real quickly. Uh, first of all, you can see that it says I'm 1.30 inches off. Well, that means that I'm 1.30 inches off of my material here. Uh, I'm further off by 0.774 off of this table here, which I'll show you that measurement right right there. Um, but let's get back over and I'll go to Z0 and I'll show you that it's measured right on that material. You can see that it's just touching the surface on that material. So if I raise back up and I will turn off the local zeros, the green boxes. I'll move sideways enough to clear and now I'm going to go back to Z0. And it should go right to the table surface and stop. And you can see that it did do that. So now I'll lift back up. And I'll move, I'll turn my local zeros back on. I'll move back to there. Now if I do a Z0 again, as you can see here, I'll hit enter and it should lower right back down to the surface of my material again. I did a Z0 once and it went to the table, turn my locals back on and I do a Z0 again and it will go to the top of my material and stop. Okay, that just means that that tool is zeroed at the table and it has a local zero on top of the material. I will do a G53 and raise again. I will type in T1. The machine should move over and tell me to change the tools. And if I look here, it basically says change the tool and hit enter to continue. So now I'll go over and change my tool. And I'm going to put this end mill in, in place of the other one. I'll tighten it up. I'm not really tightening it because I'm not turning the router on to the RPMs, so I don't have to worry about it flying out or anything. But it's more than snug, so it would be enough to hold it. I just hit enter and the machine will move back then to my tool length measure switch which is mounted right there. Yours will probably be a pad and it will measure that tool. So here it goes. Hit enter. The machine should wrap it down until it's close, then it goes at slow speed until it touches off, then it measures it back up. Now I'll come back up to my XY position. Now when I lower back down to the material, if, if it's measured correctly, it should just touch the surface of the material with a Z0. I come back over here, I type in Z, zero. I'll look back at here and I'll hit enter. 
If I'm wrong, it's going to smash into the material. But if I'm right, it's going to stop at the very surface of it. You can see that it lowered down, and it's right directly on the material. And that's how the tool change works on the FTC.